What's up everyone? In this video today, I'm going to show you how to use a trigger scale and tell you a little bit why you would want to use this. Let's get to it. I'll see you in a second. Alright, so a trigger scale is something that I would personally recommend anyone that shoots a lot or is involved in uh, gunsmithing or fixing guns at all. I recommend that you have one of these tools. What it's used for is to measure the amount of pressure that your finger has to put on the trigger in order for it to get the fire. Now it's pretty easy to read and it's really easy to take this measurement as well. You can pick this tool up, this particular one that I have, the Wheeler's Engineering trigger pull scale. Uh, it's going to cost around $20 on Amazon. I think you can get it at Cabela's as well. So it's not too bad there and there are a few different models you can get and stuff. But that's uh, this particular model's cost. Um, but it's a great tool for anyone to have that is involved in shooting a lot. And it's super easy to read. It simply has a little yellow slider that will go back and forth depending on your measurement. And then it has a scale ranging from one pound to eight pound on the side that you can see your measurement at based on where the yellow slider stops at. And how you use it is simply I'm going to take this black tip on the end of the uh, trigger pull scale and I'm going to put it where my finger would usually go whenever I'm setting, getting ready to pull the trigger on the gun. Uh, I like to lay my gun down on a table for this and I'm going to be using a snap cap but you could also use an empty hole. Um, you know, just make sure that you're not putting a loaded bullet or a loaded shotgun shell or anything like that in there. Uh, you want to be safe that way. But uh, all you have to do is, you know, I'll, I generally put one hand on the gun and I'll put one hand on a trigger pull scale and then just pull back until the gun fires and that gives you your measurement. And you may want to do this a few times just to make sure that uh, you're accurate and that all your readings are good. You don't have any big variances, you know, you're not getting two pounds one time and then like six pounds another time. You want to make sure you're staying kind of in the same range there just to make sure that uh, you're consistent and you're getting good readings. So that's it guys, this is a pretty easy tool to use, uh, super, super easy to read. Uh, I think you should probably pick one of these up if you shoot a lot. It's helpful to have this information, that way you can make sure that nothing's going wrong with your gun and you start noticing that your trigger pull is getting too high. Uh, you know, you can get it to a gunsmith or fix it if you have the ability to do that. Uh, thank you all for watching today. I appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can do that by clicking here. Uh, watch another video of mine. You can click here. And watch the Gun Disassemblies playlist. You can click here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.